What's up, Ravens fans? It's time to hear from you guys. It's time for this week's Ravens Mailbag. Lots of questions about the rookie class, as you'd expect at this time of the year. The first question is, which late-round draft pick will see the most playing time this year? Yeah, well, I'm going to factor in the fifth and sixth-round picks here, not fourth-round picks. Okay. Those are mid-round picks. So between Matt Judon and Keenan Reynolds, I'm going to say Judon's going to see more playing time. I think Keenan Reynolds making the shift from quarterback to wide receiver, that's going to take a little bit of time for him. Matt Judon, I think no matter where he was picked, he would have been an impact player for this defense. I mean, from the top down, from owner Steve Bashotti down, it's been made clear that the Ravens want to get after opposing quarterbacks, and that's exactly what Judon can do. He can be a situational pass rusher who I think will see snaps, especially because Terrell Suggs is coming yeah. off that Achilles injury. I mean, there's snaps to be had there. So the Ravens are going to trot out some heavy pass rush combinations with Doomerville, Judon, Correa, Suggs. I mean, they're going to get after it. I just want to throw this caveat out there. I know you did not include the fourth rounders in All your right. answer there. So you're going to do that? But if the fourth rounders are included, <laughs> I think that Alex Lewis is the guy to yeah. watch, the offensive lineman. He's somebody that played left guard and left tackle in college. I absolutely think that he could end up winning the starting left guard job. Yeah, watch I him agree. all summer long. All right, the next question. This comes to us from John Clint 01. The question is, can undrafted free agent Victor Ochi make this team. Yes, I do think that he can make this team. Actually, if you go back into the combine time, Mel Kuyper thought that Victor Ochi out of Stony Brook could be a third round kind of a draft pick. That's yeah. a value as a draft value. rookie free agent. You, you get him out of the draft. So he has that kind of potential. He was an incredibly productive pass rusher in college. Did you just say something yeah, about I pass rushers? I think I said something about Steve Shotty down. I remember yeah, saying that. Yeah, yeah, they like pass rushers and they <laughs> are going to look for to give him every opportunity to be that kind of a guy for this defense. Yeah, exactly. The last question comes from at X Shizzle X, good name. Who do you see as the week one starter, Sharice Wright or Gerard Powers? This is a good question. Yeah. But you know what, Garrett? In journalism school, they taught me something. What's that? Follow the money. <laughs> and we have Sharice Wright, who signed a three year reported $16 million deal two days before free agency opened. Gerard Powers, just this past week, signed a one-year deal worth a reported $1.75 million. So that shows you who the Ravens at this point value more. They value Sharice Wright, and I think for good reason. I mean, this defense, and especially the secondary, really rebounded in the second half of the season. They had a strong second half of the season. I mean, it was one of the best secondaries yeah. in the NFL. Sharice Wright was a major part of that. I mean, John Harbaugh said he was one of our best defensive players the second half of the season. Also, I think that they like the continuity that he's going to provide, not only because he did it last year, so you roll into the next season, but he has a great relationship with Jimmy Smith, and he played with Eric Weddle in San Diego. He's got a lot going for him. Exactly. So I think he's the leader in the clubhouse. If Gerard Powers is going to knock him off for week one, then Powers is really going to have to have a very strong training camp and Sharice Wright do the opposite. All right, so that's it, Ravens fans. But as always, we love to hear from you guys. Send us those questions on social media every week. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.